Hey everybody, I've gotten a couple of questions on my uh, YouTube video about 3rd of July fireworks about the uh, firing system that I used, uh, that I made for shooting that show and uh, since I got in a couple questions and I actually built a new system I figured I would do a little bit of demo on each. Alright, first we have here is the system that I built last year. It's a 12Q system built into a, just a toolbox that I got for a couple bucks at a store. Um, the way it works is here is the main power button. Turn that on and you put it into test mode. Any uh, of these cues, 1 through 12, that have a good E-match in them, the LED will light up like you see here. Anyone that has no E-match or something's wrong with it, the LED will remain off. Uh, just switch it into arm mode and then simple remote like this, buttons 1 through 12, just hit the corresponding button and that E-match will fire. Alright, here's my most recent firing system that I built. It's built into a Seahorse 520 case. Open it up and you'll see there's 32 cues arranged in four banks of eight. We'll talk more about that later. It runs on a single key switch, which is something that I was really working hard to make work. So all you do is you turn the key to the left and it goes into test mode. All of the LEDs on the right light up, uh, the test LED, and any cue that has a good and working E-match will also have the continuity LED light up underneath it. Simply turn the key to the right to go into arm mode and this is where this system is a little bit different than some other ones you'll see uh, that are professionally made perhaps. Um, instead of having a single remote with 32 buttons this still only has a 12 button remote and the way it works is you can select uh, banks of 8. So you hit a button and bank A lights up and then you're available to shoot any one of these eight cues across the bank. Um, same with B, one through eight. C, one through eight. You'll notice that when the bank is selected, the continuity LED for any matches that are in that bank light up just to let you know one more time that yes, I'm ready to go. All the way down to D. So when you're firing a show, you'd start probably with A. You'd shoot A1 then A2, A3, etc, etc, go down to B, B1, B2, B3, continue C and D all the way until you've shot all 32 cues. Alright, so when I was buying components for this firing system, the remote that came with the wireless receiver boards looks something like this. Just a simple 12 button remote labeled 1 through 12 on off switch on the side. That's not too bad of a remote, but I decided that I wanted something a little bit uh, easier to use when I'm sitting in the dark in a field somewhere. So I built this right over here. It essentially takes uh, the guts of the original remote and uh, extends the buttons out and onto a larger panel. Um, so it run, runs just like the other remote. Turn on the firing system and turn on the remote. And you press button A, activates Q, uh, bank A. Same with B, C, and D, and all the cues underneath those also work just as well when you're, if you're using the remote or not. Okay, here's both systems together. You can see that they are almost exactly identical, except for little places I messed up on putting the stickers on. Uh, you just simply turn them both onto the arm mode and because they both use the same receiver I can control them together. So I hit the A button on my transmitter and both A banks light up. B, C, all the way down and every single Q as well. The reason I chose this over a uh, system where I'd have two separate ones is because I wanted to shoot from two different firing locations, maybe 50 or 60 feet apart and this made it a lot easier. Instead of just running, you know, 70 feet of wire from one system all the way to the other firing position, I have two systems and my E-matches are only maybe five or six feet long. Alright, so there it is. There's my demo of my new firing system and the firing system I used last year. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And I'll also post links to where I got the uh, components for lots of these things in the underbar.